let's look at how to work with dates in Excel. Here I am in Excel and I want to enter today's date. When you're doing data entry with a date, keep it as simple as possible and use the forward slashes. You can see on the home ribbon, the number group, that Excel recognises that it's a date. And we can actually change it to the long date option here as well. But behind every date is a number. Let's change this particular date and view the number behind it. So every day has a unique number behind it. And that Excel started counting on the 1st of the 1st, 1900. So there's actually been 45,041 days have passed since the 1st of the 1st, 1900. But if you need to just see today's date, or you get a number by accident, just change the format back to a date which makes sense. Let's enter Christmas Day's date. Behind every day we have established there's a number, so that means we can do calculations, minus one date from another, and work out, for example, how many days until Christmas. So in this example, we take the Christmas day minus today's date, and there's 244 days till Christmas. And we can do other simple calculations. Today's date plus three weeks, which is 21 days. And we can do minus as well. So we'll take today's date in that cell, minus 14. It's great to know how to work with dates and simple calculations. We've got a nice shortcut for dates, and it's control semicolon. This will put today's date as a stamp in. But also we can type the today formula, which is equals today, open brackets, close brackets. This is called the today function. You can see it here, it's formula autocomplete. With the blue, I can double click and press enter to use it. Now that will also give me today's date. But the difference is that the today function will update tomorrow. It'll say the 26th of the 4th. Equals now, open brackets, close brackets, will give me the date and the time. And that will also update. So now let's just do a little exercise. When's your next birthday? Not your date of birth, but your next birthday. So mine's next year in February. So let's work out how many days until my birthday. So we'll take my birthday date minus today's date. So 286 days until my birthday. But let's try that now with the today function, just to make sure we understand the power of the today function. So equals my birthday minus the today function which is the formula that I used in this cell here. Now press enter. The same number. But the beauty is, tomorrow, this will say 285 days until my birthday. Because the today function won't say the 25th, it'll say the 26th of the 4th. It'll keep current. I hope this has been helpful and helped clarify a few things about working with dates in Excel.